Are you searching for the best infrared sauna of 2022 and 2023? I'm imagining that you've seen a lot of videos that are really spiffed up from fancy sauna companies that have millions of dollars worth of marketing budgets. But here we test every single sauna ourselves. And let me show you what the best sauna is not. It's not a brand that says you have to have a sauna that reaches 170 degrees or you don't get a good detox. It's not a brand that says you have to have ceramic heaters in order to have an effective detox and that carbon emitters don't work. It's not a brand that talks about emissivity being the only thing that matters. <laughs> it's not a brand that says you've got to have medical grade this and that, uh, or the sauna has to be made out of a particular wood, or it's going to be bad for you, or sprayed with God knows what. It's not a brand that makes the entire front of the sauna out of glass and then says that it doesn't negatively <laughs> impact the performance of the sauna. It absolutely does. It suffers from a lot of heat loss. It's one of these, and I'm going to show you a bigger model that I've got turned on and all lit up, but this is a small model. And this is the Radiant Health Elite Series. And the reason why we like these saunas so much is number one, they don't break. We've been using them for years. Customers love them. We don't have trouble. It doesn't have all that crazy stuff where the sauna hooks up to Wi-Fi and then emits RF and all this other stuff. They also are the lowest EMF, lowest VOC saunas on the planet. And they have a few features that no one is talking about that can be really important to you. One of them is a bench top heater. There's actually far infrared heaters in the bench top and you can do, and this is selectable by the way, if you don't like it or whatever, you just push a button and turn it off. But you can do a perennial detox. There's a lot of organs, a lot of far infrared energy benefits to having um, exposure in those areas. If you wanna find out more, if you're looking for an infrared sauna, I would highly recommend that you check these out. Go to radianthealthsaunas.com. And if you decide that it's right for you, you can use coupon code either over the phone or email RHS-500. One of the things that I like, but people get confused about this, is that they don't pitch full spectrum. This is a far infrared sauna. And far infrared is the real workhorse in any infrared sauna. If you were to sit in front of near infrared, like this panel here, for instance, you could sit in front of this panel for hours and you're not gonna generate a hyperthermic response. Hyperthermia is an increase in core temperature that induces sweating or the fever state or yada, yada, yada. Near infrared is not a component that <clears throat> causes hyperthermia by itself. So by nature, having a full spectrum sauna and not focusing on far infrared is a huge mistake. Like laser studies from NASA, they're using near infrared research, and they're saying that if you don't have these full spectrum heaters in a particular sauna, you're not gonna get X benefits that are in these research papers. The problem with that is no one is paying attention to, these heaters don't have the same output as a photobiomodulation device. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that means right now. So if we bring our spectrometer over here, and we run a little. Welcome to another edition of Infrared Sauna Expert, your source for saunas, detox, and health improvement devices. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can hear the insider's question of the week and hit the like button on this video so we know you want to see more helpful tips. As always, resources and show notes can be found on InfraredSaunaExpert.com. Or if you're looking for the approved list of sauna brands, CertifiedSaunas.com has all the updated info. Let's jump into today's episode with your go-to infrared sauna expert, Matt Justice. So let's talk about um, full spectrum saunas for a second. We've been saying this a lot, didn't have the data to substantiate. Let's go in just any full spectrum sauna, it doesn't matter what the brand is. We'll go ahead and turn it on. Um, let these full spectrum heaters power up for a second. So a lot of sales agents are misleading people saying that they need a sauna with full spectrum heaters so that you get uh, far infrared, mid infrared, and near infrared. The issue with this and the reason people are unknowingly using PBMT studies, which is like laser studies from NASA, they're using near infrared research, and they're saying that if you don't have these full spectrum heaters in a particular sauna, you're not gonna get X benefits that are in these research papers. The problem with that is no one is paying attention to, these heaters don't have the same output as a photobiomodulation device. And I'm gonna show you exactly what that means right now. So if we bring our spectrometer over here and we run, a little graph here and see the output from these heaters. You'll see that everything from 600 to about 800, which is all the reference studies, pretty much falls off a cliff. So does it have a good peak output at 1,000 nanometers and up? Sure, but all the studies that people are referencing and all the information that people are wrongly, you know, kind of subjected to, to buy into these full spectrum saunas is kind of wrong. And you can see that clear as day here. So we've got a bunch of PBMT panels We've got 12 more upstairs that we're running tests on. If you come over here and run the exact same test, if you want to see the graph really quick, 
um, you can see how basically in the 660 and 800 range is all the, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but you'll see the peak in the trough. And so that's basically non-existent in most of the full spectrum saunas. And so if you think you're getting red light therapy in a full spectrum sauna, you're probably not. So radiant health saunas, one of the things that I like, but people get confused about this, is that they don't pitch full spectrum. This is a far infrared sauna. And far infrared is the real workhorse in any infrared sauna. If you were to sit in front of near infrared, like this panel here, for instance, you could sit in front of this panel for hours and you're not gonna generate a hyperthermic response. Hyperthermia is an increase in core temperature that induces sweating or the fever state or yada, yada, yada. Near infrared is not a component that <clears throat> causes hyperthermia by itself. So by nature, having a full spectrum sauna and not focusing on far infrared is a huge mistake. Far infrared is what's gonna give you the detoxability, it's what's gonna give you, you know, the hardcore sweat, it's what's gonna give you the cardiovascular workout without even moving, increases your heart rate, helps you lose weight, you know, all these things. Any infrared sauna that's focused on far infrared will do that to you. It's not brand specific, but one of the things that I like about Radiant Health specifically, you know, Obviously, we're not claiming any specific health benefits here. Can't do that, no one is a doctor. You know, we see a licensed medical physician for help like that. But the company themselves doesn't derail you into saying, oh, well, you have to have all three wavelengths, mid-infrared, far-infrared, and near-infrared to get the most amount of benefits. This is a marketing ploy that is used by a lot of the top sauna companies to kind of draw you in and hook you. But as you can see, the difference between um, red light therapy, which has amazing skin benefits, most of the full spectrum saunas on the market don't deliver enough output from the red light therapy or the photobiomodulation, the PBMT portion um, in that range to really give you the benefits. So you're spending a bunch of money to get a full spectrum sauna, but then you're kind of lacking the output of a separate device. There's a reason that these have, you know, its own power supply, cooling fans and things like that. If you buy into a full spectrum sauna that just has a little 50 by 50 LED array that's behind the grill, you know, or something that has an additional full spectrum heater in the front that doesn't actually go down to the 660 or 800 nanometer range, you're missing half the benefits. Like you think that you have this great full spectrum sauna and you know, you have near infrared therapy in there, but it comes nowhere close to the output of having a secondary PBM device uh, outside of the sauna, its own power supply, the output of that is dramatically different than anything you'll find in most of the saunas. And the one thing that I wanted to point out too is, uh, Radiant Health saunas and a lot of other saunas come with uh, chromotherapy lights in the ceiling. Now a lot of people will tell you that this is some type of like medical grade chromotherapy, not this company specifically, but a lot of other companies. And they will kind of, you know, suggest that you'll get more benefits from the sauna if you have that. In all the cases that we've come across, this is a nice to have item. There's not a therapeutic, therapeutic benefit to this other than it being mood lighting or you know, just making the cabin more enjoyable or making, you know, hey, maybe that's a selling point for you. If it is more enjoyable or you feel better in it and you'll use it more, then hey, obviously go for it. But having chromotherapy, even if it, they call it medical grade chromotherapy, is not the same as having photobiomodulation panel, like a full body PBMT panel. So just wanted to point out that don't get wrapped up in full spectrum, having you know near infrared in the sauna, or especially chromotherapy. That is not a selling point. You shouldn't buy one sauna over another just based on having chromotherapy or a specific type of mood lighting in the ceiling like that. Are you looking for the best home sauna options on the market? I can't tell you how difficult it is to find good information on these things. That is, until I came across this guy, Matt Justice of CertifiedSaunas.com. He took the guesswork out of finding a safe, low EMF, low VOC infrared sauna for my home. And now, my family and I enjoy it every single night as part of our health ritual. I love the no-nonsense approach Matt takes when reviewing some of the most popular brands. And he's not afraid to tell you the truth, even when it impacts him in a negative way. My wife and I almost fell for the Amazon five-star rated saunas. But when Matt talked to us behind the scenes and showed us how they manipulate the reviews, we were blown away. He even has pictures and videos of him buying and installing a couple of those cheaper saunas. And you can clearly see the lack in build quality. I couldn't be happier with our decision to go with a sauna recommended from CertifiedSaunas.com. The companies Matt suggested were low pressure, answered all of our questions, and even honored Matt's discount code.